had we're starting week eight of indoor preparation um you know the walls kind of started closing in on us probably after about week five and our kids are absolutely ready to play they're going to be jacked up and excited to get on a baseball field and now we just got to go play and you know hopefully it's kind of cliche ish but each day just get a little bit better and um, i think we will through the first weekend and then obviously through you know, I would hope by the time we get to Arlington Baptist after we've played Upper Iowa and U.S. Bank that, that we're starting to get there. We're starting to get where we need to get to. Well, I, I mean, I think we have we have 16 seniors, uh, eight of which are pitchers. Now, a couple of those guys are also position guys. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm as excited as I've been in, in years for uh, a season to get started. And we've got capable guys in roles. I mean, I feel like we're six or seven deep in the infield. We're at least four deep in the outfield, if not five. And we've got a freshman out there that, that I think by the by you know get get him getting used to being out there in actual game type situations, you know, he's gonna jump into the mix as well. Um, so and, and I think the biggest improvement I feel at this point that we're gonna see is in our pitching staff. Pin. I mean, we got uh, Gonzo coming out of there, Patrick Gonzalez, uh, Luke Benjes. He's had the most consistent fall and most consistent spring by far that he's ever had, and he's been he's just been throwing the ball really well. Um, we've got a lot of guys. We got some freshmen. Uh, one freshman in particular, Jake Olson, that's uh, really been throwing the ball well. Uh, he's gonna he's right at this point right now. He's one of our top six starters uh, until proven different. Um, so, I mean, I. Th I think uh, with the addition of both both uh, Coach Bagnell and um, Coach Gaines, that's helped us a lot. The pitching side, uh, obviously having Coach Hampton here with our hitters and and working on a lot of different things with uh, deep, from a defensive standpoint. I mean, we've improved and it's kind of rejuvenated an old fart like me, you know, uh, to really be excited and get after it and and the kids it, they've been easy to coach i'll be honest with you all the way through the fall uh, if you talk to our strength conditioning coaches they busted their tails um everything we've done and their attitudes have been awesome and and you know i'm just excited to see the looks on their face thursday morning when we're getting on a bus to go play baseball Number one, you go with you know the two NSIC guys, Gunner and, and Scotty and Scotty Litchie. Uh, both of them are you know uh, Scott had a really great year last year, and he just got stuck. He normally it would have been a first or a second team All Conference player. I mean he hit about 370, drove in 51 runs. I think he had eight home runs. Um, played well in right field, getting better and better out there. He came in here. I don't think he'd ever played in the outfield before, and you know he's pretty darn good out right fielder for a guy that never played there until he got here and then Gunner uh, as a freshman uh, I don't think any one of us would have expected what he did last year and, and he's just going to do nothing but get better with the experience side of it and then you've got our two seniors really to watch which would be Mark Lezinski on the mound Mark is a bulldog on the mound he's going to go fight you uh, he's not, he's going to come after you he's got a short-term memory so you know you, you've been around long enough here in this conference to see teams can hit, and you got to have a little bit of a short-term memory on the mound. Logan Rydell, he's kind of a you know he's kind of a threefold helper for us. I mean, he's great defensively in center field. He can hit, he can really run, and he's he's one of our top guys on the mound. So uh, those are you know uh, things that that uh, it will be tough to replace at the end of the year. Uh, otherwise, I mean, we're seniors around the infield. I mean, we got Mace at first and and uh, Matt Mastentuano at second. At Colin Ekman's had the best fall of any shortstop I've ever had defensively. I mean, he's just he, he's as good as I wouldn't trade him for anybody. And then uh, Dwayne Miller, uh, I really think Dwayne's going to have a heck of a year for us this year. Uh, he's playing third base. He might play a little first, might DH a little. Who knows? But but I think he's going to have a solid year. And then you look at Ryan Rumpka, who is a senior that Ryan hasn't had as many chances to play. Um, he's a young man that. Uh, that that has been injured uh, his first three years here a lot uh he's he can swing the bat he, he's good defensively he'll play some third he'll play some second he may spot catch for us uh so and then you got you know benny bozer who's a senior who can play basically any position on the infield he'll pitch a little bit for us and and and, and then another young man that we've had has been here four years nick hovela who's uh just you know he's, he's probably our, he's our strongest kid on our team 
He's probably, arguably, our best athlete, uh, and, and he'll help us. He's a good defender in the outfield. He's our fastest guy, uh, and uh, you know he, he's got pop in his bat. Um, he can create problems on the bases, so he's another young man that's that's going to help us a lot. Kai Hockey has uh, done a really nice job in the outfield. He's a solid player. He's he's basically. You know, we have a lot of guys that I might term pro players as far as guys that have the professional work ethic. Uh, and, and he's no different. He's one of them. Uh, Jack Whitworth right now is, uh, we've kind of got a couple guys that we're putting into a closers role, and he's one of them uh, that will absolutely help us a tremendous amount. I mean, we've talked, me and Jason have talked about this quite a bit. I mean, I really feel like we have at least 13 or 14 guys that will play into the mix from an offensive, defensive standpoint. And then on the mound, you know, we, we hope to have eight or ten guys that we can depend on. And, and if any indication is our simulated scrimmages that we've had the past three weeks, we will. Well, I, obviously we're excited. I mean, we love the Metrodome. We used to play anywhere from, you know, I believe anywhere from eight to 16 games over about a five-year period, other than when we had the, when the baggy fell. You know, we had the roof collapse uh, the one year. Uh, I, we love the Metrodome, and I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be even better at U.S. Bank. I'm, you know, I'm a little interested to see what happens with a half glass roof and a half not glass. You know, uh, how guys, how you see the ball, how you read the ball, what happens. I, for us, it, it's so many positive with having U.S. Bank back in in play for us. Uh, just the fact that, that, that it's a closer place to play, it's guaranteed baseball, um, and our fans and, and, and alumni and supporters and such have an opportunity to come watch. Uh, parents, uh, many of our players are from out of state and such, and they've kind of, excuse pardon the pun here, but banked on that we're playing in U.S. Bank, you know? And so you know you're going to play, so they're, they're going to show up. And um, so it's, it's going to be fun. I really think it's going to be fun. You know, our conference is crazy good. All, everybody, you know, all the coaches in, in these in our building here uh, face the same things we face, uh, you know, uh, is that everybody's good. Nothing's easy on any given day. And, and you know, our approach I, I, the, of what we've tried to go with with our kids is more than anything is you come every day, you come with a good attitude, you come work hard in practice, uh, you come focused. Uh, we don't have to be there for six hours. We can get it done in two hours, two and a half. But come in and focus, come in to work on the things you need to work on to get better. And hopefully that relates to the field where we come in focused every day. We focus on every opponent, every single game. I, I like I like the group we have. I, I think we're going to swing the bats. Uh, we're probably going to struggle a little this first weekend. Uh, that's to be, you know, that's just to be expected. Um, but we'll get better as the weekend goes. And uh, then at U.S. Bank, hopefully, we'll we'll be a little better. Although it'll be a different background and a different situation, but but our kids again will be excited. Um, and then down once we get outside, typically on spring trip, usually that's when we kind of get going. So. Um, I think we're going to score runs. Defensively, I think we're going to be solid. Uh, and then it's going to come down to pitching. And, and I would like to see anyone in our conference that's more improved in that area right now than we are.